priorities went really right because I was, you know, still young. Myself. So when I first met Dale, he was um, in the principal's office. Um, had, a, had set up a time to meet him, and um, yeah, they uh, told me he's in the principal's office for fighting. So um, he was part of our first intake for the Bar One program with Tommy Football Club. I took a lot of confidence from it. Probably that, you know, just people that have just gone for what they want, you know, know what they want, and gone for it, and you know, beating on them. I think just being around that kind of organisation with positive people and driven people certainly um, gave Dale some good tools that he could use obviously later in life. you got to keep pushing and you only get a little bit of opportunities, you know, and you have to take all of them. My AFL Sports Radio, like, they opened up a lot of doors for me and I really expressed that I was um, really into music. And then that program um, and on my desk by chance, um, Indigenous Hip Hop Project. And I immediately thought of Dale, that's something he'd be very interested in, learn how to um, write music and produce it and shoot videos and that sort of thing. And then to see him perform on uh, graduation night, um, it was just fantastic to see where, where he is now and you know where he's come from. So, yeah, so I think it's been a fantastic thing for Dale. So I sort of just, you know, went with it and uh, turned out to be a really good choice. If you are open about what you want to do, always help out there and um, just take it take the ball by the horn pretty much around here. Just say so everyone just give it a go. <laughs>